What's up everybody, Drifty here from Driftwood Gaming. This is going to be a special request RPG Maker MV tutorial for Chaos Control. Hi everyone, this is Chaos Control and I wanted to ask if Drifty can help me make a D&D &D style curse weapon that binds to the actor and re-equips itself if removed. Yes, that's what we're going to be doing. So in this RPG Maker MV tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make that D&D style cursed weapon that basically once you equipped it, you can't take it off unless you lift the curse, aka turn off a switch. So basically, let me show you what we're going to make, and then I'll show you how to make it. So we're going to talk to this character, and this character is going to be uh, like when you, this is the event that happens when you get your Omega weapon, and like you equipped it, and now it's stuck to you. Okay, so we talk to them, and the Crystallis is bound to us, right? So, okay, we've got this cool weapon, let's look at it. The Crystallis, it's bound to us, but let's try to take it off. Oh, it looks like we got away with it, but as soon as we leave the menu, the Crystallis automatically equips itself. We go back to the menu, we see that the Crystallis has automatically equipped itself back, and it didn't dupe itself or anything. We only have one Crystallis. So no matter how many times we try to take this weapon off, it'll just re-equip itself. If you have a different weapon, it's going to swap it out and equip that other weapon. So let's do it one more last time. Boom! The Crystallis automatically equips itself. So let me show you how... Uh, I went about to create that. So all you have to do, it's pretty simple actually, you'll need one switch and you'll need one common event that's set to a parallel process. So jump into your database, go over to common events, change the maximum if you have to, create a new one, call it the weapon or the armor that you want and then maybe give it another curse name, just arbitrary, call it whatever you want. But you need to make the trigger a parallel and you need to set the, the condition to have a switch turned on. So when that switch is turned on, jumping over to this event, this is the event where you get the weapon, whenever, whatever storyline takes place here, at the end of it or the beginning, you turn on this switch. So this switch is going to happen uh, once that switch is turned on, no matter where you are in the game, unless you're in a menu or battle screen, it's going to make this, uh, it's going to run if this switch is on as a parallel process in the background. So this condition is basically, or the contents of this uh, is a, a conditional statement. So basically you right click, insert new, go to flow control, click on conditional branch, and on tab two, let's jump into this one, on tab two you're going to select the actor that it's for. <clears throat> and then go to weapons or armor, whatever you want, and select that legendary weapon. But the main thing is selecting an else branch because we're, we're checking to see if they have it equipped, but we're not going to do anything if they have it equipped. So we're selecting an else branch. What we're going to be doing is if they don't have that weapon or armor equipped, then what we're going to do is equip it. So go to, uh, oops, sorry about that. I think it's going to be on actor, change equipment. There it is. So you, you select the equipment type, and then uh, you select the actor and you select uh, the exact specific item that you want. So in this case, Driftwood, Weapon, Crystallis. So we're saying, put that weapon on. And then we're going to show a text to let the party know something changed. So I'm doing Galv's message, uh, layer message pl uh, plugin. Um, I forgot what the actual name of the plugin is, but that's irrelevant. Um, to pop that out. And then um, we're saying, uh, the Crystallis automatically equipped itself. And so if you want it to show that little picture, you do slash IW, and then the number you put there is going to be the number of that weapon in your database. Uh, you could do slash IA for if it's an armor. Um, so it's up to you. If we look at number eight, we see that's Crystallis. But that's basically it. One switch, one parallel process common event, and the event that turns on the switch, and you have a D&D &D style cursed weapon that cannot be uh, unequipped unless you turn off that switch. And you could turn off that switch in any other storyline event that removes the curse or whatever. But that's going to do it for this special request RPG Maker Envy tutorial. Thank you so much for coming out. And uh, instead of having me read the YouTube comments, thank you, Chaos Control. Thanks again for having me on. Yeah, you bet, man. And if you guys have any more special requests, put them in the comments below. And yeah, like this video if you like special request RPG Maker Envy tutorials. If you're new to the channel, please consider smashing that subscribe button. Uh, I have lots of tutorials. I've got to do first impressions on RPG Maker MV videos. You can always send me your game if you're interested. We're doing a game jam and the deadline's over, so it will have to be played after the uh, I've gone through the other 12 games I have for the game jam. But yeah, send it to me. Give me a link. Uh, make sure you play test it, and I'll get to it as soon as I can. But that's going to do it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next video. See ya. Bye.